uncomfortably hot morning, unbearable afternoon, and lukewarm evening to you. It's Reggae, and welcome to the towering inferno of misery that is known as summer. Here in this unbearable heatscape, I have some housekeeping to bring to you before we move on to the motion of today's video. Most of it being of a complaining nature. You see, I went on the comment section of the last video and Although there were some very nice comments, and thank you for them, there were some that I couldn't quite decipher. Well, one. One has basically got all of my attention unduly and really annoyed me, is my point that I'm putting forward here. I guess it's better to be honest. The point that I'd like to put to you is, if you have a complaint, say that complaint in its fullness and most constructive way you can. If you think I'm bad, but you can't work out why, don't bother saying it, because I can't help you with that because you haven't given a way that I can improve it. If you got constructive criticism, that's great. Write that down. Just please don't write paragraphs upon paragraphs. And if you're being ironic, please consider this. I, as myself with my mindset that I unfortunately have and can't change, and as a YouTuber, can't just say, oh, that's an ironic comment, lol, that's hilarious, unless it's something incredibly obvious. Like, one of my special favourites was when I couldn't do Ancient Curse, and someone says, LMAO, why are you struggling? Just do the level. And then about, like, 70 laugh cry emojis. Like, that level of irony is fine. But when you've got a kind of subtle irony, what that does is only breed problems. If you're saying something that could be considered nasty if it wasn't ironic, but it's not obvious that it's not ironic, I'm just gonna take offence from that. And that's not good. That's gonna put me in a miserable mood and make me complain about it at the start of the next video. If you're being ironic, please be obvious in your irony, because this is the YouTuber responsibility bit. As a YouTube creator, I'm going to take everything that people say seriously, unless it's incredibly obvious otherwise. Because imagine you have a criticism you've put forward, and I take it as an ironic comment. I've essentially completely ignored you and rubbished you into the realms of farce. So please just consider for the future that although it may be obvious to you what you intend to mean, really not obvious when you've written your YouTube comment. In some kind of incredible feat in this space of about two minutes, the room has returned to an inferno from me having had all sorts of fans on back and boiling, still melting alive. I really wish that the sun could just be like, Banned. Yeah. So today, if cat fruit permits, the plan is to move on to true forming something which has long wanted and needed a true form. I feel like I ought to be more excited, but the heat is sapping away at my will to live, the little of it that there was, and I'm even more miserable than usual, and it's horrible. It is a living hell in this inferno. Another thing, impatience. I've noticed a lot of impatience in comment sections. In the last video, the comment that I was actually referencing my whole point to was one that I couldn't be sure if it was ironic or not, but it said about there not being an ode of true form in it. And you gotta remember, this is a video that someone has worked hard on to bring out to you, and you're just putting out a comment essentially saying, I don't care about all that work, where's this other thing? Could you perhaps just appreciate what you've been given for what it is, and look forward to something else, instead of rubbishing what you've got now, and demanding it? Because that really annoys me. But what has been wanted will come today. War God Nobunaga, my first ever Uber that I ever, ever, ever acquired in this game. So very, very long ago, around the time, of the first episode of the Pudding Realm, I think it was called. A Minecraft series I did ages back. And now it has a true form and it appears we can get it because thankfully there are no elder cat fruits in this true form. Lovely stuff. If there was, I'd be really sad. I said that I thought there would be because someone told me there was in the Growing Strange video, but luckily there's not, which is great. I'm glad to be wrong on that note because I can actually get the true form of my very first Uber. Immortal Nobunaga. True form greatly increases defense, plus improves attack power and increases the time freeze will affect black enemies. That is strange wording, but I think I get what it's talking about. Evolve! Sweat is physically pouring down my brow now as the cat fruit smashes into Oda and creates him into his true form. So, oh, that is terrifying. His eye thing moves. 
I can see he's still incredibly angry. Looks very much like me when I come across the Cuphead community. Or maybe it is the Cuphead community when they come across me. I guess that's sort of mutual. His sort of extended bits have got strange sort of lightning -y fire on the end of them, which is very exciting. And he looks like he's sort of housing a upside down Jizo's castle underneath him. So he's got a lot going on, this fellow. Let's read his description then, an update to Oda after so long. Leads an army of vengeful spirits to fulfill his dream of unifying the heavens and the netherworld. 100% chance to freeze black enemies. It does bug me a little bit how inconsistent this branding is. Not really branding, but the wording of error attack or the abilities. It's just got area in brackets there, not area attack. Some things say it has area attack, but not in brackets. Really uneven, and it would just be nice if it was formatted properly. It's a thing I've been trying to do on the channel. Currently working out a steadfast thumbnail type to go onto the beginner account guide video so that everything looks the same and you know it comes from the same way and it just feels a lot nicer. It's a recognised media industry thing and it just seems a bit sloppy that all the descriptions are different. I mean this menu, lovely. Same sort of thing, you have the symbols and it's all branded the same way, no differences. Here, really sort of slapdash. You know, I, I, I cannot stand this heat. This is so unbearably hot. Physically like being in an oven. I've got to do something about that. I'm going to go and have some words with the sun. Basically, in the quest to have decent audio quality, i.e. not having a window open, not having a fan on, I am melting 10 seconds after I turn the fans off and start recording. Every time. I guess I'm going to have to record this in like 20,000 parts because it is physically unbearable. I hate the earth. I really do. Why can't we live on one of these nice cold planets, you know? In the interest of treasure and just finding out what this new true form to Oda looks like, I'm gonna be taking it into Uranus just to get a bit more treasure in the Cats of the Cosmos. Right, out he comes then, 4,350 monies, and here he is, the bloke himself with his purple mouth rain, and it's even bigger and more exciting, causes a bit of an explosion upon arrival of it on the enemies, I guess. That's a bit different from before, and it's much more extravagant and exciting. I very much like that. It's been a while since I've seen Oda attack, because to say that he's sort of fallen into insignificance is probably quite accurate. Aha! The Dark Doge. It's probably going to be killed by Blue before Oda can have a chance at it. That has indeed happened. But I mean, Oda is a terrifying force, isn't he? He's a big, imposing creature, and I've sort of noticed already his, his bits, his extended bits, they are sort of falling into the background in a way they're sort of a little bit out of focus. I mean, maybe that's intentional. Our main body of odor is what we see the most. There's a chance for a little bit of freezing and wow, yeah, that freeze is still going on. Still going on. Still going on. That is a huge freeze. I mean, I've heard people saying Oda's true form was rubbish, but I mean, well, maybe practically in some circumstances, but that Dark Doge certainly wouldn't think so. We can get another one as well, so the recharge time isn't too bad. I mean, it looks like it's sort of relatively similar to Blue's, who've probably just been here a while, but Oda seems to really have found new usefulness in this game. That is an epically long freeze time. I mean, I don't suppose we'll have any XP stages to be able to test him on, given the time at which we're recording this. But still, that's mighty impressive from Oda. I tried looking for a level to put Oda in. Obviously I could find something like Black Premonition, but doing that again, don't really see much particular point in it. And Triton's next in the Cats of the Cosmos. We need to make our way through that. I'm doing it at a nice leisurely pace, getting treasure normally, unlike the treasure radar ring types, savoring it as I go along. And Triton has no special requirements to it, so we can bring Oda into it. And I've heard from people who don't seem to value my surprise that there is something new inside this. It's a dolphin. I hope that's not foreshadowing. Oh, it is. No, that, that's not very good at all. Oh, it's got a barrier. Isn't that wonderful? Well, Oda hasn't got Barrier Breaker, to the best of my knowledge. I'm going to bring out a Rover Cat. That should be nice and resistant. I must at least say that this Dolphina, this sort of starred alien Dolphina, who I would love to be more surprised about, but people spoiled it for me, doesn't actually look as annoying as the normal Dolphina. It's sort of a... a I don't know how to describe it. One of those sort of stubby whales with the sort of stubby nose. I don't know how to say it, but to be honest, right? It doesn't seem to be causing much trouble at all. I'm quite fond of this one so far. Blue seems to be handling the situation perfectly well. And I think we will take this opportunity to do a little freeze and save up ultimately for Oda. Not particularly an anti-alien unit, but still big and scary and, and shoots purple fire. 
that's enough for me. Pluto is next and it does have a restriction, but luckily for us, normal special Uber Rare, so it's still fine. We have an island. Why do we have an island? It's half the solution to everything, so that at least should carry us through the level. Start off with the limo! Perhaps an island will be tanky enough to move up to it and bite it. Make it move backwards. Go away, limo. We don't want you here. Because I'm such an edgy chap, I'm actually going to bring out an odour before my blue. So it has a little bit of time in the limelight as we build up our worker cat. Take a shot at the limo then, odour. Lovely. Knocks it back. Perhaps not so useless as I thought it might be against things that aren't black enemies. Equally though, this is still a relatively early level on in the chapter, so maybe everything's quite easy. But I mean, where's the fun in admitting that? Ah, Lemur, Morph and Gregory. We'll bring out Mega Aphrodite for that, and some meat shields and some other stuff, and I think otherwise we'd be perfectly fine. Gregory might have been a little bit of a worry had we not blue, but seeming as we do have the blue, we're gonna be absolutely fine. Oda giving some fire when it's needed between the blue shots. Mega Aphrodite doing loads of damage and that. Between the three Ubers and everything else. And I mean, I always class Jizo as not an Uber because it's a cheat. Just like th this sort of mystical good entity. We're doing perfectly fine. Might have to shout above my fan for this one because I've turned it on in between bits where I'm speaking, but we got the superior treasure, so that's good. But if you listen to the fan, this glorious cold air that I'm receiving is what I am sacrificing for all of you. Red Rectangle is next then with the same restriction, so we can go straight into it with the same slot and try and have the same success. That can't surely qualify as a rectangle. It, it's got curves. It's a 3D shape. It's a cuboid and a bad cuboid at that. Star Peng has greeted us. We had a nice merciful break from it and now it's back like, um, like summer. Looks like the island spam will also be great against these red enemies that seem to be littering this level, which makes sense in a red rectangle, actually thinking about it. Maybe a bit of Abrahamo. We haven't used that in Cats of the Cosmos pretty much at all, so we'll freeze these. Get rid of them. Scizoroo joins us in Imperator style. Two Imperator styles, in fact, but I think with all this stuff, we're going to be fairly unstoppable until something stops us. One thing I did think about with Oda is the possibility that it could work on the black stage of growing strange, especially with a freeze that works for that long. More reliable than a stack of bomb accounts that could all get killed, possibly. Thing is though, I remember Oda being not great for tackies. It's sort of in that death range, which for a tacky is literally any cat unit anywhere, but particularly Oda, suffers quite a lot against them. I mean, I'm raining on my own parade here. I have no intention to discredit Oda at all. But I've got all of you to do that. This is just gonna sort of be a nice stroll down a nostalgic and rose-tinted lane, if you don't mind. Eskimo Nebula is next, and we can still use Uber Rare three times this restriction. Lovely stuff. Start off with a Jackie Peng, thankfully, a normal Jackie Peng. Boy, am I glad to see you, normal Jackie Peng, you not too difficult enemy you. Ultra Barbar, well I guess that does call for a loincloth in my slot now. That could barrier break for me. I've got options, it's brilliant. Right, oh, we've been greeted with our first, oh I've forgotten its name. Well it's the, it's the starred alien elephant, isn't it? And I think a great thing for that would be Mega Aphrodite, but I do believe it's something that outranges Mega Aphrodite. Project A doesn't, but I feel like the elephant might. So I'm going to use this as an excuse to bring in Oda as if he could help the situation, because I'm going to say that he can. The elephant's barrier has been broken by probably a loincloth. They can have quite a large range, bit of a strange range, but a large range nonetheless. And Mega Aphrodite's just dealt with it immediately. Well, a star pen still remains. Oda, you're a bit late for that. Your attack looked fabulous, mate. But if you could attack again, relatively fast attack rate, go again. And, and the star pen is not dead, unfortunately. You can have another go at it, Oda. Move forward a bit. Still some star pangs, take a shot. Okay, you're still not killing it, but I mean, you're not dead, so that's good. Okay, you shot again. Okay, blue killed the star pang, but you know what? Oda did most of the work. And if he didn't, Oda did most of the work. Cat's Eye Nebula next, unfortunately, thwarts Oda. 4,000 monies or less is the deploy limit. Luckily for us, blue is under 4,000, so we're still probably gonna get carried through it. But I mean, it's too hot. I have no set end to my narrative, so I think I'll end the narrative here. Oda true form, looks fancy, does fancy, didn't die at all. That may be confirmation bias from the easier levels that I tested it in, but you know what? I don't really care. I like the Oda true form, and if you wish to spoil it for me, I mean, go ahead, free speech, but just remember, I like Oda. 
Maybe I don't want my boat rocked so that it capsizes into some kind of... I mean, capsizing into normal water would be welcome at this point, it being so infernally hot. But maybe capsizing into the sun is what you'd be doing if you rebuked my wonderful odour true form, with which I'm very happy. My boy has finally grown up to a third form and a really disconcerting third eye. I do hope that this video was to your liking. Perhaps if you did and you're new, you might wish to subscribe if you'd like to. Equally, you might wish not to subscribe, and that's fine, because I'm not going to force you to do anything. All I'm going to do is stop this recording and moan about the weather a bit more. So if you want to see me moan about the weather again in future, subscribing would make that easier to see. In any case, as I stare into this cat hovering above the darkness which I wish would envelop me, I will bid you goodbye and say I hope you enjoyed.